Good day everyone. For today's video, I will be talking about the net present value. Okay, I am Mary Grace Gahiton, LPT MBA at your service. I will be explaining to you some concepts of financial management. Okay, so when a business analyst or financial managers make investment decision, whether or not they will accept or reject the project, they use this comprehensive set of measures. Okay, again, this set of measures should be taken into account first before making investment decision. Okay, first is the NPV or the net present value and this will be our topic for today's video. Next is the IRR or the internal rate of return, the payback period or the PBP the discounted payback period, and the profitability index. All right. So, net present value, how do we compute it? All right. So, we have to find the difference between the PV of all cash inflows and the PV of all cash outflows. All right. Cash inflows... Those are the money going into the business, okay? And when we say cash outflows, these are the money leaving the business. Also, to consider this criteria, no? that if NPV or the net present value is greater than zero, then we accept the project. Remember, Okay. But if NPV is lesser than zero, then reject the project. But if and when the NPV is equal to zero, you may accept the project considering non-tangible benefits or you have to consider other benefits. Remember, the greater the NPV, the better the project. Okay, so to explain further or to illustrate further, I have here an example. It says, a sum of 400,000 pesos invested today in an IT project may give a series of cash inflows in the future. In year 1, 70,000. In year 2, 120,000. In year 3, 140,000. In year 4, 140,000. Same with the year 3. And in year 5, 40,000. Alright? If the opportunity cost of capital is 8% per annum, then do we accept or reject the project? Okay, by looking at the example, we cannot tell, all right, unless we compute it. Okay. Step one, calculate present value of all years. Step two, sum up the PV or the present value of all years. And step three, find the difference or present value of cash inflows less present value of cash outflows. All right. So remember this formula, no? EV is equal to FV divided by 1 plus R raised to the power of N. PV, that represents our present value. FV, that is our future value. R, that is our opportunity cost or the rate. And the N, that is the number of years. Okay, so I will be illustrating to you the example on a table format. Okay, so it says in our example that in year one, there is 70 thousand and so on okay look at here at the bottom all right so let's start 
year one, 70,000 divided by 1.08. So how do we get this 1.08? 1 is our constant, that is from our formula, and 0 0.08 here is our opportunity cost or rate per annum. Okay, so to continue, 70,000 divided by 1.08, that would give us 64,814.80. Okay, that is our computation for year one. And for year two is 120,000, okay? So 120,000 divided by 1.08 raised to the power of two. Two here is our year two, all right? And our 1.08, that one is our constant and 0 0.08 is our rate. Okay, so we simplify first here, 1.08 raised to the power of 2. Okay, to continue, 120,000 divided by 1.1664. By the way, 1.08 raised to the power of 2, it will give us an answer of 1.1664. Okay, so when we divide 120,000 to 1.1664, it will give us an answer of 102,880.7. Okay, so we go to year 3, 140,000. So 140,000 divided by uh, 1.08 raised to the power of 3. Okay, so again, we will simplify these terms below. Okay, so 1.08 raised to the power of 3, it will give us 1.2597. Alright, and after that, we divide 140,000 divided by 1.2597. It will give us 111,137.6. Okay? And then for year 4, there will be 140,000. Okay? So 140,000 divided by 1.08 raised to the power of 4. Again, we are going to simplify this term before we divide that to 140,000, okay? So, when we compute 1.08 raised to the power of 4, it will give us an answer of 1.3605, all right? And we are going to divide 140,000 divided by 1.3605. It will give us an answer of... 102,903.3 and so with year 5 okay there will be 40,000 pesos okay so we use the formula divided that to 1.08 raised to the power of 5 5 here is our year 5 or our n okay so we simplify 1.08 raised to the power of 5, it will give us 1.4693. And then, 40,000 divided by 1.4693, it will give us 27,223.80. Alright? That is our step 1. Okay? So, we, when we sum up, all of this amount, we are going to arrive at 408,960.2. Okay? I hope that my explanation on this table is clear enough. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so after that, step 3 would be we are going now to less Okay, we are going to find the difference between the PV of all cash inflows 
and the PV of all cash outflows, okay? So, our present value of cash inflow is 408,000, right? 408,960, okay? And we are going to less or we are going to deduct that with the PV of cash outflow, okay? As the problem says, a sum of 400,000 pesos. So, that is our outflow. Okay? So, it will give us an answer of 8,960.20. Okay? Since, okay, you now know the amount. Since NPV is positive, that is positive. Okay? 8,000. Since NPV is positive, then accept the project okay but if it is negative then reject the project okay so it is really very important to calculate before making decision okay an important tips to remember always choose projects with highest in PV. Okay, remember that. And if in PV is same for the given projects, for example, you are given, uh, you, there are two proposals, okay, and then the NPV is the same between the two projects, then choose the project with highest IRR or the internal rate of return. I will be explaining IRR on my next video. Okay? If NPV and IRR remains the same for the given projects, same lang, then choose the project with early payback period. Okay? Again, I will be explaining this payback period in the future. Alright? And payback period, this is very important to remember that Payback period is a major consideration for every project because it tells us how soon we can recover our investment. And this investment can be utilized for other business needs later on, okay? Thank you very much for watching.